Hey, it's Wendy Pitt with Visibly Fit, and um, yes, we got lots of snow last night, and this is like my favorite time to hike in the freshly fallen snow. We're still getting a little bit right now, and um, it's kind of my church today. Um, my son parked behind my car, and he was still asleep this morning, and I've been at church-ish kinds of things. Uh, a women's retreat and a women's conference this week. So I'm like, you know, I've done lots of church. I want to go spend church in God's playground. And so it's amazing how he speaks to us when we're out in his creation. And I always hear from him when I'm walking, but I really hear from him when I stop. And I'd asked my son, because I did finally wake him up, <laughs> I said, hey, you want to go with me? It'd be so great. We can have church out there. And he kind of rolled his eyes. And I said, buddy, seriously, it's like, it's that peace that surpasses all understanding. And again, he kind of rolled his eyes. And he said, mom, you can't have peace in pairs. And I thought, huh, well, that's interesting. He's like, you should just go by yourself. It's more peaceful. And I thought, well, first of all, you can have peace in pairs. It just depends on the pair. <laughs> uh, and first of all, it's, it's not a, a pair as in a person-people pair. It's who are you pairing yourself with, ultimately, in order to go and find that peace, right? If it's in another person, no, we're never going to find that perfect peace. But God is that perfect peace, and it does surpass all our understanding that guards our heart and our minds in Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians 4, 7, by the way. Um, <laughs> it was on my memorization uh, uh, thing not too long ago, so I had that in my head. But um, yeah, memorize scripture. That's so important, by the way. I'm getting better at that and being more intentional. So um, it's good just to have in your heart so you can have it at any moment in time. So anyway, I digress. Squirrel moment. Anyway, um, I was thinking about that when he said that, and I was like, man, that, it's really profound, actually, because he had said, but there's so much noise when you're with another person. You can't hear peace. And he said, but when you're with your, by yourself, you don't recognize or hear your own noise. I thought, that's kind of true, right? You don't realize your own noise until you stop. So whenever I'm walking, I don't really think of myself as being noisy through the snow, but as you can tell right here, whoo, ha! How about that? That was noisy. But even just stepping, you can hear the noise or the scratching of my pants, but um, I, my snow pants. And I don't really think about that as I am walking. But when I stop and listen, God speaks. So I want to invite you to stop and listen and hear his still, small, quiet voice and get out in his creation so that he can really speak to you in, a, in the most beautiful way. It's one thing to see it from the comfort of your own home and, and from inside, outside of looking through the window, but it's another to be in it. He created all of this for you and I to enjoy. So even if it's just sitting outside and allowing the sun to beat down on your face or just feeling his presence in a new way, I invite you to do that. Again, he speaks when we stop and listen.